Hey Canucks fans and welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Saturday, December 30th. Tonight the Vancouver Canucks wrap up the 2017 calendar year by hosting Anze Kopitar and the LA Kings at Rogers Arena. The Canucks are looking for their second straight win over the Kings. They beat them 3-2 in LA in mid-November and the Canucks are looking for their second straight win overall after beating the Chicago Blackhawks in a very entertaining game on Thursday night. They won 5-2. That was a beautiful game in many respects. I posted on Twitter, actually, that I was hoping for a beautiful night because I was going to the game on Thursday with my beautiful wife, Gail. I was wearing my beautiful Canucks Christmas sweater. We were going to see and hear the beautiful Marie Huey sing the anthems, and we were hoping for a beautiful Canucks win. And the most beautiful thing about that night, despite all those beautiful things I just mentioned, was the fact that the trio of Thomas Vanek, Brock Besser, and Sam Gagne combined for 12 beautiful points. Vanek had five, Besser had four, and Gagne had three. And the goals were beautiful. No-look passes from behind the net. No-look passes from in front of the net. cross ice passes, deflections, whatever you want, they did it. And it was a wonderful, wonderful showing. And imagine this. Imagine a few weeks down the road. Work with me here. Imagine that Vanek, Besser, and Gagne are still a thing. Imagine that the Sedins and Eriksson are playing well. Then Berchi and Horvat are playing with Jake Vertanen, which would be my dream. And then you have on the fourth line, Brandon Sutter, Marcus Granlin, they play well together, and someone like Nick Dowd, Brendan Gantz, Reed Boucher, who are, Nikolai Godobin, whoever it may be on that fourth line. That will give the Canucks some balanced attack, some balanced scoring, some firepower, but we'll see what happens. It looks like is going to be the first back of those three forwards. Then it looks like Sutter, I mentioned the goalposts keep moving. We're not sure about when he's coming back, and we know that Horvat's still three or four weeks away. One other thing that was cool about Thursday night is they showed our new Canucks Christmas video, excuse me, our Canucks Christmas Carols video, they showed it on the Jumbotron. It was kind of cool. I was in one end of the arena with Gail. Marie Huey was on the other end of the arena. But we were able to sort of share that experience together. And they say that TV adds 10 pounds. Well, then the Jumbotron must have add, added about 50 pounds for me. So hopefully I'll do something about that in the new year. Yeah, I always say that. Okay, let's talk about tonight. Jacob Markstrom's a net. The Canucks called up. Michael Chaput from Utica. That doesn't necessarily mean that he'll be playing tonight, but it does mean that the Canucks are moving towards a a complete active roster. You're allowed to have 23 players up on your pro roster. The Canucks only had 21 when they played against Chicago. They had their 11 forwards that dress, the seven D-men, including Biega, that dress. That's 18. The two goalies mixed 20. And Reed Boucher was the only healthy scratch last game, making 21. That means they had two extra spots. So in bringing up Michael Chaput, they fill one of those two spots. So again, I don't think he's going to play tonight. I just think it gives them extra insurance. Now they have at least two healthy bodies as healthy scratches. Um, especially the Canucks, I anticipate the Canucks moving back towards a traditional 12 forwards, 6 D-men lineup. Biega, who played as the seventh defenseman, 12th forward. He only got five minutes of ice time last game. Well, my camera just fell. He only got five minutes of ice time last game and didn't really do much. The most noticeable thing he did was actually check that Chicago Blackhawks defenseman in the boards, picking up a minor penalty in the process. Last thing about tonight's game, very interesting fact, is three Canucks players, three of our bottom six guys, Jake Vertanen, Brendan Gantz, and Nick Dowd, are all playing in their 100th NHL game, their 100th game of their career. And it's what's interesting about this is they all came in the league at different times, or at least they were drafted at different times. Nick Dowd was drafted in 2009 by the LA Kings, seventh round, 198th overall. Brendan Gantz was drafted 2012, 26 overall, first round by the Vancouver Canucks. And we know that Jake Vertanen was drafted in 2014, sixth overall by the Canucks in the first round. So you have Dowd in 2009, Gantz in 2012, Vertanen in 2014. But coincidentally or ironically, whatever word you want to use, they're all playing in their 100th career game in the same game, and that would be tonight. Coincidentally as well, or whatever the word is, they all came into the league. They actually played their first NHL game all in 2015-16. So despite where they're drafted, Nick Dowd six years before that, gone three years before that, and Vertanen the year before that, um, they didn't, all three of them started, or didn't start until 2015-16. So we'll see what happens from here. Obviously Vertanen's got the most potential of the three, but Nick Dowd and Brendan Gantz can still be serviceable, you know, fourth line players. And hopefully the ceiling, as you guys know, I'm a big Vertanen fan because of his speed, his strength, his shot and he's working on his hockey smarts, I still think Vertanen can be a second line forward if he puts his mind to it. All right, last thing I want to say, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your loyal viewership throughout this year. This channel has grown a lot in the past year as I've done these videos more consistently. And um, uh, 
Twitter friend of mine, I haven't met him in real life, but I want to, named Chase Ruttig. I hope I said that right. R-U-T-T-I-G is his last name, but Chase is his first name. He tweeted out earlier this week, he said that, uh, he gave me a shout out, and he said that I was the best Canucks YouTuber around right now. And I, I appreciate the kind words. Might not necessarily agree. There's, there's guys who have certainly a higher view count or they have more subscribers than I do, but I'm not sure that any of them uh, post with the consistency that I do or with the same, uh, the nice balance of fun yet smart analysis. I'm a fan first, I'm an analyst second. I'm not into the fancy stats. But um, I think I know enough about the game, going to the game, playing a bit of the game, roller hockey, not ice hockey, but being in the arena and um, with some insights that way that, uh, that I hopefully I'm able to provide relatively entertaining and relatively informative blogs for you guys. Okay, that's enough back padding for now. You should be careful, especially as I'm driving. But I want to thank you. I hope you enjoy the game tonight. And I hope you have a really great New Year celebration. Be safe, be blessed, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. God bless and go Canucks go.